Hey YouTube, Will here from All Electric, and today we're testing the range of the battery on the F1. That is an e-bike by a company called Zippers. That's their first e-bike. So as promised when I did my review of the Zippers F1, I did not do a range test. So that is what you're gonna get in this video. Let's jump right in. So for this range test, I do have it plugged in right now over here. It is fully charged right now and I'm gonna be using my phone's GPS to track the exact miles that we get on this full battery. Now, also with this test, I'm not gonna use any pedals. So I'm just gonna use the throttle, which is located on the right hand grip. Now, this is not a flat test track either, so your results may be a little bit different than mine. I'm also about 200 pounds, so keep that in mind when I do get the full range results. So we got the bike, it's all charged up. Now we're gonna power it on. So you see here, I hold down on that middle button. We're gonna power it on and we're at 28.1. You can see full battery right there. And again, we are only, only during this test going to be using the throttle. So the miles or the distance that we get is going to be the worst possible or the shortest distance possible. So obviously the more that you pedal, the less battery you're gonna use. So for this test, like I just said, we are only using the throttle. So you see my right hand is on the throttle and I'm not pedaling at all throughout this entire test. Most of this test was done on the road and most of it was a pretty smooth road, but I have to say after being on this bike, I think the total test time took about an hour. Uh, it was definitely noticeable that this bike didn't have any shock absorbers. So if you were really gonna commute for an hour each way, completely maxing out this battery every time, it would definitely behoove you to get a different e-bike that had some sort of shocks. Although if you're going anywhere below that time, I would even say you know 20 to 30 minutes, I was completely comfortable on that. So you can see here, I'm clocking about 17 miles an hour. I'm on a pretty flat road here. There is a slight incline going up, but it is doing 18 miles an hour. Again, I'm 200 pounds and this 350 watt motor is able to propel this bike so easily. And I think that has to do with this really light structure of the bike. Because this is a smaller folding e-bike, they really, it's not very heavy compared to most e-bikes that I've found. So it's very light, it's super easy to get in and out of a car if it's all folded up, and it's really easy with this 350 watt motor to propel you really close to that 20 mile per hour mark. So you can see my feet are just stationary. I'm simply using those as little footholders, not pedaling at all to get the most accurate test results for you guys. Just throttle is powering this whole entire test here. Now about halfway through the test, you can see I'm going up this hill at about seven or eight miles per hour. The motor is struggling a bit, but again, I'm not pedaling at all. If you were really doing this, then of course you would help the bike up this really, really steep grade that I'm experiencing right here. But again, now I'm down to six miles per hour on this massive hill you can see here. Just, I know it's a little bit challenging to see the actual slope in this video, but believe me, this is definitely a steep incline and we're almost to the top here now. You can see the speed picking back up. So I did get down to about six miles per hour just on that hill there. But again, if I was commuting with this on a hill, it wouldn't really be that big of an issue because I would just simply start to pedal and help the bike get up the hill, still using the throttle, but again, I wouldn't be sweating or anything like that, just simply assisting the bike at that hardest point of this test where it's almost a you know 30% grade going up a hill. Now, near the end of my test here, you see that for a while I floated around this little mini part of the battery and the battery blinking at me. So showing nothing in the battery um, and the battery was empty blinking on the display. So it would go back and forth and I think that has to do with the regen. So of course, when you would push it up a hill, then the battery would deplete or show depleted on the screen and then going down another hill, it would start to come back a little bit. So definitely something to keep in mind. So don't get worried if it does start blinking. In my experience, when it did start blinking, I still had several miles in the tank, so to speak, in the battery 
just on pure throttle. Now again, this being a very light e-bike, if you did run out of juice, it's super easy to just pedal this like a normal bike because the battery is pretty small and you're not carrying a bunch of weight. So really convenient and easy if you do run out of juice. Now you can see in this part of the test, the battery light is actually blinking. And I found that this went several miles with the battery light blinking. So that's good to know if you're gonna commute on this and let's say you didn't get to charge it fully or it does start blinking on you, don't worry. Now again, this is on full throttle. So you can double or even triple the miles easily if you just start pedaling. But for this test, I'm only using the throttle. So if you are concerned about range on this e-bike, just pedal a little bit. You could increase the distance by three to four times just by giving the bike a little bit of assistance through the pedal. Now, if we look at the tech specs, the max range is 45 miles. Now, we started with 28.1 miles and we ended with 45.9 miles. So if we subtract 45.9 versus our original miles, we get a grand total of 17.8 miles according to the counter on the bike. Now I got what an hour and six minutes and we traveled almost 17 miles. We got 16.96 miles, which I think is insane, insanely impressive because the max range is 45 miles. And I believe easily I can triple or even four times this distance if I just provided some bit of assistance to the bike in terms of pedaling. And I really think that that 17 miles will just round down and round up a little bit. 17, 17 and a half miles just on pure throttle is so impressive for this e-bike. That amount of range is so nice for a folding e-bike, especially at this price point. Just moving your feet a little bit. I'm not talking about pedaling hard and sweating. I think that you would be able to get this well above their rated 45 miles per charge easily. We got such great miles because of this very awesome and very high quality battery pack. You can pause the video here if you wanna see the specs on the battery pack, but not only does this have a nice little handle, but it can easily be removed and taken into your office or if you're gonna to commute to work. So if you have a, let's say 10 mile commute, you could easily get there just on pure throttle, plug it in at your desk and then drive home on pure throttle. You wouldn't even have to pedal at all. This swappable battery pack by LG Chem is really, really impressive and it shows in the range test. Now again, this 350 watt motor is a little bit smaller compared to some of the 500 watt motor bikes and I think that's why we were able to get such a far distance because that smaller motor is gonna use less electricity. Now here's the coolest thing about this really sleek matte black looking bike. It folds. In just a few seconds, you can fold this thing up. So if you're going to use this as like a last mile commuter from your house to a bus stop, you could easily get this thing on a bus with you or something like that. Super, super easy. Now this bike actually retails for 1500 bucks, which I think is a steal for what you get in terms of safety features and the quality of parts that they put on this. But if you use the link that I have down below in the description, you can actually get even more of a discount, 10% off that price. Just by clicking the link, it'll copy the coupon code. Then you click the button below that and you can simply order now and add this bike to your cart. So instead of $1,500 when you add it to your cart, the coupon is automatically applied. So when you view your cart, it'll show you there that the coupon is in there for another $150 off just by using the coupon code down below. And that takes it to $1,350, which I think is a great value for such an amazing e-bike and such a great little package too. So if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you go see my full review of the Zippers F1. That is their first e-bike and I think they knocked this one out of the park. Really impressed.
I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't push, push, forget push, push, to hit push, push, that subscribe button. button. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.